Hi, welcome to the Vector booth at the CES in Las Vegas. We have prepared four stations that will guide you through the whole architecture, development and deployment as well as monitoring process that you need to successfully fulfill your STV journey. Come join me to the booth and I'll give you a tour. You can start at the continuous architecture and software platform where we show you how to develop a software platform continuously and make it ready to be deployed on the specific EE architecture that is relevant for you. Afterwards, we are going to move over to the software factory build part where we are able to do changes in the code and directly commit it and get a new build of the application. At the third station, we will see the testing part where we test the freshly built application and make it ready for the deployment in the next step, which will happen in the big data loop. At this station, you can get a first glimpse at the continuous architecture approach that we have implemented with Provision in order to create a hardware independent software platform, which in this case is instantiated on a EE architecture based on a Sonal, HPC and sensor actuator approach. Now we're entering our software factory. In the software factory, we have the possibility to change the code of the application and directly commit it to the repository. As a first step, we have the build pipeline and the integration pipeline of our software factory. Here, we're going to build and integrate the application, first of all for a real target, but also for a virtual target, which enable us to do testing in the sill and in the hill. Sill and hill testing is done with our testing as code approach, allowing us to switch seamlessly between the virtual and the real environment. After the testing has been done, we will get a released software which is ready to be deployed into the vehicle fleet, which we will see as the next step in our big data loop. Now, since our application is tested and released for deployment, we can go ahead and start a vehicle update and get this new application out into our vehicle fleet. After that's done, our indicator is changing and behaving as expected. But now, the loop is not closed yet. Our big data loop will now be able to collect data from the vehicle and we're going to see the data that we collected live on our screen. This allows us not only to update the vehicle with new functionality, but also validate the result and get insights into the behavior of the vehicles that are out there in the fleet. I hope you enjoyed this small overview of our STV 2.0 tour. If you want to see it in full detail, come here to the CS in Las Vegas. We are in the West Hall booth 6640. Meet us here and we will guide you through all the details of the tour. See you there. Bye.